were you a boxing fan when you were growing up? As a kid, I was an enormous sports fan. I wasn't a big boxing fan. I was a fan of big boxing. I followed Muhammad Ali and George Foreman and Joe Frazier and uh, all the great fighters, even lighter weight fighters. I remember watching Emil Griffith when, when I was young yeah. and uh, Roberto Duran, Tommy Hearns. Um, but the big fights is what I loved. I loved the atmosphere of it. I loved the environment. And I loved the fact that the world stopped, came to a stop the day that a major fight took place. And even as a kid, I was just captivated by what it took for two people to stop the world the way a right. big boxing match did, unlike any other sport. Do you still think it's that way? On certain nights, it's magical. When, uh, when I did the fights of Oscar De La Hoya, of Floyd Mayweather, of Manny Pacquiao, all their big fights, right. the fights that did a million or more pay-per-view buys over the years, and I was fortunate to be involved with many of them, uh, a lot of things stopped that night. You know, when we were doing two million pay-per-view buys, there were six to eight people per home, and thousands of closed circuit venues filled with 500 people or more around the country. Right. So uh, everybody talked about it and, and the world stopped for a night. And it was always a motivator for me to do something that would cause people right. to okay. decide to stop in their tracks right. and, and spend the time being entertained right. um, by my product. And uh, it was something that uh, I worked for every day. Is it the boxer or the marketing? You say Oscar De La Hoya, Manny Pacquiao, Mayweather. Do you feel like it's the boxer that ultimately brings that, or it's a little bit of, you do make the boxer what he is? Well, first you have to have the core talent. Right. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya, Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao are great examples of a talent level that's superhuman. You know, once in a generation, you find that. And truly it was gen once in a generation for me. I had the Holyfield, uh, Lennox Lewis, Tyson era, we had the Oscar Trinidad era, and then we had the Mayweather Pacquiao era. So when I worked with, with Oscar and Floyd and Manny, it was remarkable. They each brought something very different to the table. Um, but one thing they each had in addition to their God-given ability, they had endless energy, and they were willing to give it to the media and to the fans. And I always tell young athletes, you can be the best athlete in the world, but if in addition to that, you want to command the world's attention, and if you want to be a true worldwide star, then you have to look at the hours that people like De La Hoya, Mayweather, and Pacquiao gave right. to the media and the fans. They never said no. They worked right. as hard outside the ring as they did inside the ring. When I saw a young athlete with that kind of talent, I wrapped my arms around him or her and never let go because those were the people that I knew had the energy and the capabilities to become the stars that I wanted to work with. Right. And I was able to apply all of my marketing and promotional skills to athletes who had the willingness to do that. That combination is what made pay-per-view work like it did when it was successful. And it created hundreds of millions of dollars on, you know, right. on more than one night. Well, in all honesty, do you think if you found a guy who was half of the talent and half of the work effort, the marketing experience that you have in HBO, do you think you could possibly bring that person to a high level? The athlete has to have a certain it factor right. that connects with the public. Arturo Gatti was not the most talented fighter in the history of right. boxing, but he connected with people and brought out the passion of fans like very few fighters. Gatti Ward was the perhaps the most magnificent trilogy in the history of the sport. Sure. It surely was not the highest level of boxing quality right. in the history of the sport. Mm -hmm. You could argue that uh, you know, fighters like Barrera and Morales and Marquez brought a lot more to the table in the uh, doubles and trilogies that they all fought with one another. But no one will ever forget Arturo Gatti and Mickey Ward. They had that it factor. People knew that they were giving everything plus, 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 right. of their hearts, of their minds, of their bodies. And when you show that passion to the public, they connect with you. Right. So a fighter like Arturo Gatti um, was a wonderful fighter to work with. We helped make him a big HBO star and a pay-per-view star for a few fights. You know, I started working with Arturo later in his career uh, on pay-per-view. Um, so I didn't have the same opportunity like I did with Manny and Oscar and Floyd to work with them for 10 years or right. more and really take them to the apex. Um, but the time I had with Gaddy and other fighters like Gaddy who had tremendous heart. Um, Miguel Cotto is a, an outstanding fighter, 
but Miguel is a little bit shorter than a Mayweather and Pacquiao on the skill level. He's a superstar level, but not the megastar, never forget level. Right. Miguel Cotto connected with fans like very few fighters right. ever did. Yeah. That's why he has sold more tickets at Madison Square Garden than any other boxer in history. When a fighter like Miguel Cotto, with that super level of skill and that fan connection, walked through the door, I knew we had uh, someone to work with. So you recognize that early on? Early on. I met Miguel Cotto before he had his first professional fight. A very talented young Puerto Rican fighter named Ivan Calderon, who fought, I believe, at 108 pounds, brought his best friend and brother, he called him, Hermano, into my office and said, meet Miguel Cotto. Right after he came out of the Olympics, and I met Miguel, and Ivan said, Miguel is special, work with Miguel. And uh, to this day, Miguel is a wonderful friend of mine, and uh, I love working with him in his fights. Miguel connects with people and people connect with Miguel and it took him to heights that very few fighters were able to reach.